Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a foundation first impressions on, let me hold, hold it up right, on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. In this is the color Cream Beige. I actually bought this a couple of weeks ago, maybe even a month ago. I bought it a while ago, and I'm just now getting around to trying it out. Um, I don't know, I just have not been in the mood to, I've been in like a weird mood recently. And so I haven't really been filming a whole lot. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to try this out for you guys today. Um, I'm thinking about starting a new series called Foundation Fridays. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely going to start Mascara Mondays because I have so many mascaras I need to try out. I'm definitely going to start out Mascara Mondays, but let me know what you guys think about Foundation Fridays because I can be doing first impressions and reviews and just talking about different foundations I like. So just let me know. I'm sorry if my face looks very, like I look super duper white. Um, this, I'm, the window I'm in front of, it's just like the lighting, the sun is just, it's just bad right here. But I don't have anywhere else to film right now. So this is where I'm filming at. Um, so hopefully the lighting doesn't bother you guys too much, but let's go ahead and get in this first impressions. So I am going to be doing a wear test on this as well, just so you guys know. So first I'm going to start off with the Becca Blacklight Priming Filter. This is what I've been using for a long, for a while. I've been using this for a long time actually. And um, I've actually just been using it like every single day with like every foundation that I use. Um, this is what I use. So this will be a really good test because this is like my favorite primer. And I forgot to put some of that stuff on. Whatever, I'll do that in a second. Um, I usually like to put this Matchbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer on first on like my blemishes and stuff, but I can just do it afterwards. It's no big deal. But I wish I would have done it first. See, look how white my face looks. I just have like that bad white cast. It looks terrible. I put way too much on, but I usually do. I like to look so glowy. I'm breaking out right here around my nose, which I don't have any idea why. No, actually I do. I've been eating like really, really, really bad, which I, I don't know. I tried to eat healthy for like a week and I don't know. I've just been eating a whole bunch of sugary stuff and um, sugary things just make me so sick. Like they make me deathly ill. And so um, like a lot of sugary things. If it doesn't have like a whole bunch of sugar in it, then I'm usually okay. But from eating like a lot of sugary things, then it just makes me so sick. And so I'm sure that's why I'm breaking out because of all the sugar I've been taking in. But yeah, that, that sucks. Anyway, so now let's try out this foundation. I know the pump, like the, it doesn't have like a pump. It has like the same kind of similar applicator to the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. But really quickly, I'm just gonna tell you guys the claims. So it says, goodbye photo flashback helps eliminate white particle reflection. Is that it? It was under seven light, tested under seven light conditions with smartphone models and with and without flash. Okay, I know a ton of people love this, so it's like definitely, like people are loving it. Okay, so I'm just like putting this on the back of my hand. I can tell you right now, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the applicator, but it's okay. Look at how white I look, why? Okay, you know, it'll be a little better. I know this color probably isn't gonna match my neck or really my face, but um, that's okay. I really could not find a good color match for me at my Walmart. Like, basically all of them were gone. Like, I, I guess people really, really like it because there wasn't a whole lot of colors to choose from. Um, and it does say it's a medium coverage as well. And I don't know if I said it, but this is in the color cream beige. So I'm going to go in with my Sigma Flat Kabuki brush, the one that I always use for foundation, um, and I'm just going to blend that out. This is definitely like has like not my right undertone, but it's okay. So I'm gonna try a beauty blender on this side and see which side I like more.
don't know if you'll be able to tell, but this dries pretty fast, and so it's actually kind of hard to work with on this side since it was setting on my skin, and it kind of has already dried in those places. I think you can probably tell. So it definitely looks orange, orangish in like the places where I put it on my face. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a second coat on this side and I'm gonna use the brush um, because it really didn't blend out very well with the Beauty Blender and I think it was because it already kind of dried. Looking at this side, I do think it's a medium coverage. Um, I would agree that it's a medium. It's definitely not full, but I would say you could probably build it up to make it a fuller coverage. I'm gonna put a little bit on my neck just so this, this matches a little bit better because I don't want that line. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser in the color Light, and then the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair. And I'm just going to put this underneath of my eyes in like a little triangle formation, right here on my nose, right here, around my nose, and then right here on my forehead. And then on this, I'm just gonna put this on my eyes and I'm gonna use it as a eyeshadow primer. so wide on camera and I don't know why the lighting is being so dumb but I do think it I did a pretty good job of matching it up to my neck by putting the foundation on my neck you may not be able to tell on camera but I can tell okay and so I'm gonna just do what I always do which is um, I just bake wherever I put the concealer I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna bake my under eyes uh, my nose my chin around my nose and my forehead and also my eyelids I'm just gonna put a little bit more powder under my nose, under my eyes. Okay, so I went ahead and did my um, eyebrows, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just set the rest of my face. I'm gonna wipe away this translucent powder. And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with that same Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and applied the rest of my makeup as you guys can see. And so far, you guys, I'm super duper impressed with this. I don't know if I said it earlier. I don't think I did, I don't think I did. But this is only $6, literally $6. Far for $6, I am super duper impressed. It looks really good. Like I'm telling you guys, like, I'm shocked at how good it looks. I know that everybody says that it looks good, but like I really didn't think it was actually gonna look that good. But it looks <laughs> like really, really fantastic. I'm very surprised. Okay, so I applied this at 3.30, so I will check in again. I am gonna take some pictures um, with like the flash on and see what happens. Um, and then I will insert them like right here. I will see you guys in my next checkup. So, yeah. Okay guys, so it has been um, almost four and a half hours I've had this foundation on, and it still looks exactly how it did whenever I applied it. So far, I'm like really, really liking it, and I will update you guys before I go to bed and before I take my makeup off.
but yeah so far i really really like it okay guys so i am just in the bathroom so the lighting may not be that great but i have had this on for eight hours it is now like almost 11 so i've had it on for eight and a half hours which is crazy because it still looks so good shocked but the lighting is not that great i wish i was in natural lighting so you could tell but it looks so good still and i'm shocked i can still see my blush i can still see all of my highlight right there I'll take my glasses off i can still see it all I didn't like touch up or anything. I never touch up with like my foundation or anything or I never blow out or put powder on or anything because I do have very dry skin. And I think this worked fantastically. I really do. I think it, I think it's definitely a thumbs up. I think you guys should definitely go out and try it for only $6. I have very dry skin and it worked for me really well. Like so far, first impressions, A plus. I love it right now, you guys. It looks so good. I'm shocked. I'm so surprised. I really am. So I definitely like this. I definitely think it was a hit. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please, I was about myself there for a second. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And please let me know if you guys would really be interested in like a foundation Friday series. I would love to do that because I love finding new foundations that I love. And so far I'm loving this one. So just let me get words are hard. So just let me know and I will be definitely be sure to do that for you guys. Again, thank you so, so much for watching and please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.